Tech TV, Experience Educational Television. Department of Theoretical and Applied Biology, in collaboration with Phages of Global Health, organized First West Africa Phages Workshop at KNGUST. The two-week workshop is to provide hands-on laboratory training courses for scientists on how to isolate and categorize phages in their own region. Phages for Global Health aims at addressing the issue on antimicrobial resistance, which mostly occurs in Africa and Asia. The founder and president of Phages for Global Health, Dr. Toby Nigel, spoke to Tech TV News on the phages. Phages are antibiotic alternatives that can kill antibiotic-resistant bacteria. So it really could be an important tool for addressing the antibiotic resistance crisis. We have no new drugs to kill antibiotic-resistant bacteria. So without that, what used to be a simple infection um, could suddenly become deadly. And in fact, that's been happening around the world. There's currently, I think, about 700,000 people who die each year from antibiotic-resistant infections because they have no other options for treatment. So unfortunately, by the year 2050, the prediction is that 10 million people will die each year from antibiotic-resistant infections, and 90% of those will occur in Africa and Asia. So using this type of antibacterial technology is particularly important for places in Africa. Theoretically, it should be less expensive to develop phages than traditional um, antibiotics and, and drugs. Um, there are some caveats to that, and we're starting to work with a number of governments in Africa to discuss how regulatory systems might be more amenable to approving phage products. But in general, phages are really easy to isolate. So yesterday, we took the participants of the workshop to a sewage plant, which has a lot of phages because it has a lot of bacteria. Wherever there are bacteria, phages will be growing off of those and killing those. Um, and by today, we will see them isolating their first phages. And then over the next week and a half of this workshop, they will practice um, characterizing those phages in more detail. So it's a very quick process with, without very complicated laboratory supplies, which is why theoretically it could be more cost effective. A senior lecturer at the Department of Theoretical and Applied Biology and Sciences spoke to Tech TV News. Phages are they are particles you find in the environment, and some scientists have been able to isolate, so pick them from the environment, and modify them in the lab, and hopefully use them to treat um, infections that have become resistant to normal uh, medications or known as normal antimicrobials. The interesting thing is really these guys known as phages are with us. They are in the environment. But now we are sort of trying to identify them. We are sort of trying to pick them from the environment and use them for our own benefit. It is not as if um, scientists are going to bring them from somewhere. They are already, you find them in sewage. You find them in, in vegetables. You find them in litter of poultry. You find them all over in the soil. So they are really, they are all over all over in the environment and um, we are trying to pick them from the environment and use them for our own benefit. Beyond medicine they can also be used in, the, in agriculture, they can be used in treatments, they can be used in all sorts of uh, means. Participants were found in laboratory experimenting samples which were collected from waste products in their neighborhood.
the deadly issue of antimicrobial resistance can be reduced by phages for global health because it is assumed that by 2050, Africa and Asia would have 90% of death cases caused by antimicrobial resistance. Tech TV, experience educational television.